Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the green trunks with white trim, weighing in at an even 222 pounds. From St. Paul, Minnesota, he brings a professional record of 7-2. and two. Five of his victories are by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, Irish Bill Horrigan. Last time I had these on was 1999 for a fight in Minnesota. Three months before the fight, I started training just to get in shape and ended up they needed an extra fight, so I took the fight. That was my last fight in 99. I won second round knockout. Hadn't been back since. Just be able to hear non stop 30 minutes. Do this for 30 minutes, jump rope for 30 minutes. Now, I'm pushing for three. It looks like the bag's winning. But it looks at it, at least a month to get my time in back. The weight slows me down. And I'm missing. It's hard to imagine having a hundred plus pounds to get rid of just to get back to normal. I lost uh, 65 pounds to fight Weaver and that was uh, three months. I wasn't nearly, I could still spar, I could still hit these bags without breathing like this. I gotta do it. Forget about fighting, I gotta do it so I, for my health, my family says that you know he uh, wants to do this for us and that that's been his ultimate goal for his family and everything and I'm really glad that that's um, how he thinks and what he wants to do I think that's really great overall helping him to be back in control of his life he's always been a go-getter and been able to control things in his life and go for what he wants but through the process of gaining all this weight and getting out of shape, it's kind of made him feel real negative about himself and he's just sort of miserable every day. But it's really fighting back and gaining control over his life for himself and his family. Just from working out today, I can feel my elbows, my joints, my shoulders. Threw a few punches and missed. Extended my elbows. I can feel the pains already, things I haven't felt before um, that just come with age. Things you have to work on and, and uh, overcome to be able to put this together. And you know you do have to change your training philosophy a little bit and uh, take better care of your body. Too late to go back and do it, so you got to do it now and progress your training to keep your body able to do it, so you can get up every day and keep at it. Other than uh, you know, if you try and kill yourself in one day and do everything you can, you're going to stop. And that's one of the problems most people have with any weightlifting or new fitness routine. They go gung ho and they hurt themselves or can't get up the next morning and then they stop so we got to kind of progress into this slowly and, and take it gradual and build up to the the big events